hey guys, it's me, Samantha. So today, I am going to be doing a little follow-up video from my last video. Why did I do that? That's annoying. So, if you haven't seen my video, click right up here because you have to watch that first to understand what is going on in this video. I'm just gonna summarize it a little bit. These are things I accumulated in the past month. This is all like the makeup I'm actually going to be testing out today. If you haven't seen the thumbnail and the title, yes, this is what I'm gonna be testing out makeup, new makeup. I have a few um, things that I bought and I showed all of them in my last video. So yeah, make sure to check that out. And yeah, we're just gonna get started because this is gonna be a long video. So let's get started. <laughs> okay, so this first item isn't particularly new. I've been using it for like a week. First, I am going to be putting the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is basically like a dupe of the Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This basically like moisturizes and keeps my face hydrated. It literally said it's this clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application. So yeah, it's made to moisturize it. And this is what you usually wear before it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the e.l.f. prep and blur stick. This is, I actually bought two others, which was from Milani and Maybelline, but this one really stood out to me. I was gonna film another video with testing out blur sticks, but then I did not like the video. This is why I'm struggling with my content recently. I put a fair amount on. It's literally I'm filming this at 9.25 p.m. It, oh my gosh, like I always film my videos super late, but yeah. First is foundation, and I do not have anything new for the, oh my god, this is about to fall. I don't have anything for the um, foundation because I have three bottles of foundation and I don't want to buy another one. So I'm just gonna take my Real Technique sponge. Yes, I bought a new one and no, I'm not gonna be using it because I want to use it for something like a special event or something. Okay, I'm just gonna keep blending this, so yeah. Okay, so I applied the foundation and next step is concealer. Originally, I bought this Maybelline concealer because I ran out of the Age Rewind, but then I was like, oh my gosh, e.l.f. came out with the this amazing concealer that's like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, and I literally bought two of them, so I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna be getting this. I'm gonna be trying this out. I actually swatched it, so I, I don't know why I got two. Like, I was really like, because I was looking at the package, and it's like, um, which one do I use? I think this one is what I'll be using today, which is medium sand, because look at the swatch right here. Like, can you see that? You can't. Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks outside the package. You can see that it's super light, but when it dries down, it's like very, it's darker than usual. So I'm just gonna, literally the applicator looks like the Tarte one. My sister has one and I'm like, I wanna buy one, but my wallet's gonna start crying for help. So I heard this is really pigmented. So that's good, right? And then you have to like blend it as soon as possible. I swear it looks super light right now, but trust me, it's gonna like oxidize and it's gonna dry down. Another thing is I was gonna buy a setting powder, but your girl didn't. So I'm just gonna stick with my Maybelline Fit Me setting powder in the shade Sunbaked. I really like this concealer. Like it's really, it's really good. If you want to get this concealer, this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. Get it at your local Target, Ulta, or online. Recommend getting it at like at the store because like, I don't know, the swatches look kind of, what's that word? Sketchy. Because like when I looked at swatches online, I was like, uh-uh, this, this ain't it. So I was like, um, I'm just gonna go to my local Target and just buy that. And yeah, I got it. So I'm just gonna be putting this under. It's getting darker, do you see it? Okay, okay, like. Next is going to be contour, and of course I still use this. And I know people are like, oh my god, you stand. You literally said I can't blend it. You know, like, I only bought this because this is what the Sephora in Fresno had. So, it, I don't live in Fresno, so, yeah. 
And I'm just waiting to get save up money for the Anastasia one because after this, she's going in the trash. I just don't have any other like bronzer. So I'm just gonna finish this and I still got a long way, but this is literally the only one I use. So I'm just gonna be using the shade Shadow Play. I honestly don't watch like, I don't like support her because of like Jeffree Star. And, like I'm such a Jeffree Star like fan and, but like, I don't know. It's just, this is a really good formula. So I just bought it at the time. I bought this like a year ago. So don't drag me, okay? And yeah, and of course I do buy Jeffree Star products to set my under eyes even more because I don't sleep. Um, <laughs> I love pulling all-nighters. I'm just gonna set this with the lightest shade there. Next is going to be the blush. Recently, I've been really into like blush lately because it makes me look more younger. So this product is very, very popular. I feel like everyone knows what this product is when you're doing makeup. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I bought this from Ulta like a few weeks ago and it works wonders. Like I just love the peachy uh, thing on it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glow. I'm not, okay. Since I'm wearing blush and it has like a little like highlight, highlighter effect, I'm not gonna be putting on highlighter and also I didn't buy a new highlighter. I want majority of my face to have that i really am gonna save money and get the the glossier um, cloud paint because oh my god like i really want that so bad i just want to buy glossier makeup that's all i want honestly done with that and it's very like shimmery which i love about it okay so we're skipping highlighter and we're just gonna go ahead to the eyebrows and oh my gosh i've been praying to this day for me to buy this and i saved up money or basically wasted my money, but I love this product. This is the Glossier, okay. <laughs> the Glossier Boy Brow. Oh my gosh, I still have the packaging because it's, this is my first product for them and only product for them. So I just got this Boy Brow in the shade Black. <laughs> and I'm gonna basically do like the whole wispy type of eyebrows thing. Like I try to find dupes of it and it's like impossible because people really love this and I'm like, okay, I even asked Riley, I was like, hey, you have this product, maybe I should buy it. And then she's like, yes, go for it. I'm like, okay, I trust you, so I just got it. Like, you know how I've been always using like the Maybelline one, but ever since I discovered the boy brow, I feel like I can never go back, you know? Okay, so my camera is getting really warm, so I'm just gonna pause for a little bit because this, this camera sucks. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. We just finished the brows. They are groomed. I'm not gonna do eyeshadow because that's a lot of work and I don't have any new products. I've honestly just been using the James Charles Morphe palette because it literally works for every single look. Not sponsored, even why, why would this video be sponsored? Okay, this is what the next thing I got. This is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise. And I also got the CoverGirl one, which is the orange one, but I'm gonna use this one because I've used that one before, like years ago, but I wanted to try this one out because this one is new. And this one is waterproof, and yeah, I'm very excited. You, oh, that was so satisfying to use that one. This is the little packaging. I don't think I've been showing. Yeah, I've been showing the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this on. I don't curl my lashes because look how tidy these are. So I'm just going to put these on. Hopefully they're kind of dramatic or something like that. So let me try to put this on. This? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is making it longer. It's like making my lashes like longer. Like, I swear guys. Like. I like this. Ooh. It's waterproof. So I'm going to be struggling putting this one on. So I'm just going to do the next one off camera. And like fill them in perfectly. Because I do not want you to watch five minutes of me just doing. Okay. See you guys. I applied it on and it literally, oh my god. I don't know if you can see it, but. I have really short lashes as you can tell. Like I have way too short ones. Like I wished it was like 
curved more because I'm so used to like mascaras that curve, but that's my preference. But yeah, I'm done with that. Second to last step, lips. So yeah, I just opened this. This is the e.l.f. lip, oh my gosh, I've been closing. The e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. And I heard the word plumping. This is gonna burn my, <laughs> my lips but i'm i'm nervous but when i opened it it's like it smells like oh my god it smells like a cake and so here's the little applicator we're just gonna apply it on and see what happens Ooh, oh ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, no <laughs> oh no it's like <laughs> Whew, it's like starting to burn a little bit. Ah, that means it's working, guys. Beauty is pain. Okay, I apply it. And I don't want it. <laughs> oh my god. It looks pretty, but it's like burning. Burning. I'm not allergic to it. It's just... Hopefully it's not an allergic reaction, but honestly, it looks really pretty. They're not kidding when they literally said plumping. This is the finished look. Oh, wait, I'm totally done. Okay. This is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. And I've been using the MAC, um, this little sucker right here. I'm almost out. Yeah, this Fix Plus. Look at that. It's almost out. And then I ran out of my Morphe setting spray. And I was like, there's good reviews on this one. So I just got a small one off of this one. And it smells like setting spray. Whew, we are done with that. I'm just gonna continuously fan up my face. So, majority of these products I really, really love. They're all great. That's why I was very picky about what products I wanted to use. And that is the full look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And make sure to like this video and comment down below anything. And if you have any recommendations on what makeup I should try, make sure to subscribe to my channel. We are currently at... 75 spam fan members and make sure to click that little bell icon down below to receive all of my notif no, 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 no. <laughs> all of my notifications i was so good at that like mm, okay and make sure to follow all of my social media down below all my instagram my twitter my snapchat my dote all of that is all down there in the description i'm gonna go ahead take off all this makeup and take a shower and then go to sleep because i am tired and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you, Spam Fam. And I will see you guys next Saturday with a brand new video. Bye, Spam Fam.